Hey guys, welcome to Laurie's little studio. I'm Laurie and today this is what I have in front of me. I know you probably can't see all of the stuff because you're zoomed in. So I'm going to zoom you out and kind of, well, there'll be a bunch of things that are going to be added to this pile. This video is going to be the start of my organizing the studio video. I'm going to start by leaving these out because I'm going to need them. These are all of my, oops, my little cards. And they do have a box that they live in, but my studio is such a wreck I can't find it. So I just removed all of the content off of those. They're ready for shooting again. And I got to find the box they go in. This is a tip I wanted to show you. When I was painting my rocks in the last video, I just used a, a uh, shipping envelope that had delivered some package here. And then I opened it up so I could use both sides as a, I don't know, protector of my surface. I'm going to hang on to it because, yes, I do paint a lot. Okay. This is some fabric. I'm going to leave it in this package. It is Batiste, and normally I would snatch the fabric right out of these plastic bags and wash it and get this um, plastic away from it, but because I am in the middle of trying to clean up my studio, I like the idea of having it covered, so I'll leave that in there. This is my When I'm Stressed Out I Draw book that I glued a piece of copy paper to the front so that I would have a pocket that I could put piece, little extra pieces of paper. If I cut one of these sheets in half or something and I only need a small piece of it, then I will put it in the little envelope on the front. Okay, this again, I'm going to have to put it down there. This is my journal. This is scrap paper that I'm using for when I need to draw a line or something. So I usually keep that over here to my left. Of course, this is an Omni Grid, six and a half by six and a half. Again, I'm just going to set that over there. Okay. This is something I will be putting, I'm going to organize. That's the word I need to remember to use. This is parchment paper. These are heat transfer um, dealios that I got. I honestly had no idea they were, that I was going to have this many. I sort of thought I was going to get six. And I ended up with just, uh, I mean, wow, so, so many. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to use this. I was looking at these and thinking how cute it would be to have a pillow cover so I could iron on these adorable sunflowers on an, a pillow cover and something that wouldn't end up getting washed a whole lot. I am using some, this is why I buy these. I have white t-shirts that I wear. Now y'all, I don't know what it is about me, but I always either spill coffee or tea or something red on the front of my white t-shirt eventually. It's either going to be a long sleeve t-shirt with gardening dirt stains around the cuffs and something on the front, or it's just going to be a short sleeve white t-shirt, or even a light blue or a light pink. Something is going to end up staining the front of my t-shirt. So I just use these to cover up the stains. They're not usually ever big enough to, you know, um, require some huge, massive thing. But I have to like the design, and I haven't really been able to find one. I think this is the biggest in all of these. But I haven't really been able to find a package that doesn't have huge, big... Um, motifs so as you can see I've used a few I mean look at this quite large 
But what I do like about these is the long sleeve t-shirts I have will also benefit from some of the um, pieces of this. Like if I wanted to, I could cut this in half and one half could go around the cuff of one of the, sle the sleeves and the other half could go on the other half of the other sleeve. So anyway, but that's why I have all, I didn't mean to buy this huge ginormous pack. I thought it was just six sheets and it ended up just being way too many. I'll try to remember to link this. I bought it on Amazon and I'll try to remember to link it below this video under the word description. Here is an empty T10. Some of my paints, these are some of my favorite watercolors. Some small acrylic, it's a Hissico brand. And then the Artistro, this is some little tiny sheets of watercolor paper. This is um, a good I think I'm just going to use it as a diagram for building a color paint palette, but I thought it was a little redundant because they supplied me with this piece of plastic. I don't know. So there's all of that. And then this, which I use when I'm doing something messy. So it also needs to go, but I think I'll leave it here for now. Okay, so what the heck am I doing? Okay, we're going to open three packages. And if I'm not mistaken, all three will have products within them that will help me organize, I hope 100% organize this room. So the first one is this little box. These scissors have a piece of fabric tied around the handle and that helps me remember that these scissors are not fabric scissors. These scissors are to be used for opening packages. I don't really need to be reminded, but if I have a question from one of my family members about what scissors they can use to cut something, these are the ones they're going to get directed to. Okay, let's see. Oh, well. <laughs> this is a private, non-related to the studio purchase. Okay. <clears throat> so never mind. Next. We have this. Really? You're thinking, well, these are 10 freezer bags that are two gallon. And yes, they are part of the process of organizing, well, it's all smashed, but I'll get you one so you can see how big they are. And I found the, the price of these on Amazon was far better than the price in the store. I decided to go with Ziploc brand because the Hefty brand has a whole bunch of writing in the center of the plastic bag and Ziploc only has this right here. Now I think you can use acetone to remove this, but I'm going to do something else with that. I have 10 two gallon freezer bags for working on organizing my studio. 
These are Avery labels that are large. I decided to go with large because while I didn't want to write a whole lot of information, I don't think having a clear bag requires that. If I needed to add information about who this project is for, you know, if I've got sewing and it's going to be a project for Jessica or it's going to be a project for Candace or one of the boys, whatever, or myself, I'll have enough information that I can write it there. There is, in the middle of these two big labels, there is this smaller piece right here that is also sticky. This package of Avery labels, and it's 5444, is 100, 2 inch by 4 inch, and it says there are two labels per sheet, but I'm using this little center label in the middle as well. So I get extra. Okay, next we have, okay, I wanted some rose um, lotion. Sorry, I just did. I love rose lotion and I was running low. So I don't know if you like rose lotion, but again, this was also available on Amazon and it's so, I don't want to say cheap. It's just, it's a low cost, high delivering rose um, lotion. Light and soften triple butter blend. I don't know what that means. I just know that I like the, the lotion. I like the way it smells. It's delightful. Okay, let's see what's in the next package. All right. Again with the Ziploc. This is four extra large big bags. I mean, I love this Photoshop picture. <laughs> I've never seen anything so more ridiculous. Than my, look at the size of the ladder compared to the gas can and the toolbox. <laughs> I was laughing when I purchased these, but you know, hey, at least they make them. At least they're available. Okay, so open this and get a size on it. They are sort of, um, they feel like those bags that you use and when you're like going to remove all of the air. And in fact, you could do that with this. You could do a sort of, um, you know, just put the vacuum cleaner hose in a part of this and, and pull out as much air as you want to and then quickly re-zip. But I wanted to see, it says these are a stand and fill. So we're gonna go with the idea that that's what they are. Okay, they do, they have a, a boxed bottom. Okay, that's great. And of course, because yes, here's the warning. Do not forget to keep these bags away from children or anyone who might be um, inclined to play with this, even your pets. Uh, these will be going in my storage closet and really nobody comes in here. Um, I don't have any children in my life and um, the pets that I have are not allowed. Doesn't mean they don't come in here, but they they aren't unsupervised for the most part, okay? All right, so this bag has a great big uh, section for writing what is in it. It has um, along the edge, it looks like, 
centimeters marked along the edge. I'm not really sure how useful that would be. Maybe if you just needed to measure something while you were filling the bag, I don't know. And then this side over here has inches marked along the edge of the bag. I'll have to figure out what, what good ways that would come in handy. And there is a blue, it's kind of a very pale, here we'll put a paper towel behind this so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the color, it's just this very pale blue color. Okay, now why did I go with this idea instead of the actual bags that you remove the air from? I just didn't think that I was going to have anything in storage long enough that I would want to go to all the trouble to continue. Every time I took something out of a bag, I would then have to re-remove re all of the air. And it, I thought about it and thought about it and just decided, no, I almost just bought one just to see if it would be helpful in here. And I decided it just would not be helpful. Okay, and then of course, as I mentioned earlier, this type of packaging envelope is just great for uh, working with crafts. So if you have kids that do crafts or if you know of someone, a Sunday school or uh, VBS or school or kindergarten or preschool or daycare where they need things like this to cover up their work surface, just remove your, the label. You don't want that floating around. Just And then simply tear along the seam on both long sides. So, and what I like about this is it's several layers of paper and is not going to soak through unless, I don't know, it's just repeatedly, you know, if you poured water on it in the same spot over and over and over and over again, it might leak. But it's, um, these are just great for when you're painting and then let's say you've painted this and it's all dry, you know, you've done your project, you're finished, then you just flip it over and you can use the other side. And when it dries, you can just fold it up, put it away, and use it the next time uh, over and over and over again because it's just a drop cloth, so, so to speak. Okay, alrighty, so we have our labels, we have our ginormous Ziploc big bags, and we have our two gallon Ziploc uh, freezer bags, and of course the lotion. When you handle fabric, any type of fiber, or paper, any type of paper, it pulls the moisture out of your hands. So crafters do tend to have really dry hands, and I do recommend whichever product you prefer to use, whether it's a salve like this one that I love, or a lotion like this one that I also love. I do also have this uh, Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Aroma Therapeutic Body Care Lotion in um, basil scent. Sometimes um, this gives you just kind of that, I don't know, clean scent. I like the perfumey smell of this. And if you like rose, my recommendation is um, it's a good way to try the rose scented hand lotion because it's not expensive. Now this, these, and this, as well as 
these will all be in that description box below this video. So I think I've done enough talking today. My voice is telling me, you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video, but the next one will be the big cleanup. Until then, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If the subscription notification below the video is red and you wanna to subscribe to my channel, just click it and it will turn gray. That means you're subscribed. And there's a little bell that will appear and if you click on that little bell, it will notify you every time I have a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.